news. Just ahead, HBO Max launches today. Streaming service will give you the scoop on exactly what you can watch online and what it may mean for other streaming services. News that makes you money. The WBBM Noon Business Hour continues. The new streaming service, HBO Max, is now available in the U.S. Let's get the details. Tim Hanlon is here, founder and CEO of the Verter Group here in Chicago. Tim, kind of give us the nuts and bolts on HBO Max. Well, uh, Cisco, it's a loaded question if there ever was one. So HBO Max is the latest uh, entry into the streaming wars, as we've talked about for many, many months. Uh, it's fourteen ninety nine a month, and uh, obviously the HBO uh, brand is very powerful behind all of it, and um, AT&T, its owner, is uh, counting on it to be uh, a major success uh, in the streaming wars. What's in it? You get HBO, the actual HBO that everybody knows and loves, all the high-end uh, and uh, well-regarded content, but also two other layers of stuff. One is what they're calling Max Originals, uh, which are going to be an ongoing series of new shows and, uh, and rollouts, uh, the first of which is uh, a show called Love Life featuring uh, Anna Kendrick, um, as well as uh, this mountainous library of stuff from the Warner Brothers and other Time Warner uh, related uh, uh, environments. That's Looney Tunes. That's uh, the uh, Harry Potter movies uh, and all those kinds of things. Shake vigorously. And that's the new fourteen ninety nine a month uh, offering that called HBO Max that uh, the price point is very common or very uh, understood by current HBO subscribers. But that, that said, it gets really confusing right now as to who can subscribe to it, who, who gets it already or who will get it already and who needs to pay more for it. Because it's been, it's, in terms of a launch, it's been very confusing for consumers. So for new consumers, obviously that's who they're, they're trying to reach out to. They want new customers. Uh, the, the real benefit here is not just HBO's programming. They, they could have already had that. It's all these other movies. Yeah, well, look, I mean, that's what I think from a marketing perspective, that's what HBO's ownership wants to sort of project out there. They want to basically say, look, you're used to getting HBO and all its quality for $14.99 a month. Now you can, for the same price, get that plus these originals largely to come, as well as this uh, gigantic library. I think the problem right now for most consumers, Cisco, is I, do I already have HBO or have I used one of their previous apps like HBO Now or HBO Go? And there's a real uh, launch confusion right now as to whether one already gets it or can subscribe to it without paying extra or they need to subscribe anew. Uh, it's very, very confusing. But once you can get it, it's, uh, it's conceivably going to be very, very uh, compelling for consumers. Do we know, as the different streaming services come online, d- does it end up reducing content on some of the current streaming services as companies are taking what they own and putting it on their own service? Yeah, I mean, look, the model is uh, being replicated, right? I mean, uh, uh, NBC Universal's uh, Peacock service, uh, the same with uh, certainly with Netflix and, and any of the others that are coming out, right? It's, it's vertical integration, to use a, a, bu- a buzzy business term, right, where You know, if it comes from our studios, we're going to likely keep it or at least uh, originally uh, uh, place it in our uh, offering first and maybe only. And then the game really is, and this is the game that Netflix has really kind of pioneered, is building out as much original stuff as possible. Make enough unique stuff that's only available on our service. Thus, you will have to subscribe to us. And, I, you know, how many of those people are going to absolutely subscribe to? It's going to be hard. I don't know if people can afford five or six of them just to keep all the exclusives under one roof. Thanks so much. Always good insight. Tim Hanlon, founder and CEO of the Verter Group.